Did medieval people ever sleep with the fishes? How popular were fish fries? Was getting hit with a stockfish like getting hit with a two-by-four? These and other questions will be answered right after this. I am Professor Jerome Arkenberg, and I've been teaching a wide variety of history courses at colleges across this country for the past 30 years. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the kinds of fish available in medieval Europe. How fish was classified according to humoral theory. According to medieval physicians, the medicinal benefits and dangers of eating fish and, according to a medieval nutritionist, how and when fish should be eaten and why. But first, make sure to click like, share, especially subscribe, and click that little bell thingy so I continue to bring you more great videos just like this one. Fish has been a staple food for thousands of years. And not allowed to eat meat on the 40 days of Lent, on Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and on the eve of major feast days, many medieval Catholics, especially those who could afford it, chose fish as an alternative and cooked it in a variety of ways, roasted, fried, boiled, baked, encased in a pie shell or an aspic, and many other ways. Medieval physicians classified all kinds of fish as cold and moist and said they were all hard to digest, causing thirst and generating phlegmatic humors. The best, however, were thought to come from clear, rocky currents, to be scaly and of medium size, not too skinny, and neither foul-smelling nor tasting. Most fish in the Middle Ages that were not eaten fresh were first preserved in salt or dried in the sun and some were also pickled in vinegar. To make them less harmful, medieval physicians frequently recommended boiling fish and wine. Bream. The bream is found across Central and Northern Europe where its preferred habitat is the bottom of stagnant and muddy waters, which made it an ideal fish for medieval fish ponds, where it multiplied quickly. But as a fish living in slow-flowing or stagnant waters, the bream was disdained by medieval physicians. Harp. Harp was also bred in fish ponds, and was a popular food fish among both medieval Christians and Jews. It was often served on festive occasions. However, it only appeared in England toward the end of the 15th century. Cod. Cod was a highly common fish eaten in medieval Europe. Much of it caught off Iceland, then dried or salted. Dried cod kept well, and was the prime fish used for fasting days. Herring. Herring was one of the most important foods of medieval Europe. Caught in large numbers in the Baltic and North Seas, then pickled, packed, and shipped across Europe. 
red herring. Yes, don't be distracted by it. It is a real fish. Red herring were first gutted, then cured in brine, hung up to dry and heavily smoked, causing it to change its color to red. White herring were cured in such a way that they kept their silver appearance and also kept better than red herring. Perch. Perch native to the lakes and rivers of Europe and Asia, is a predatory fish that was eaten by medieval Europeans, where it figures prominently in dishes for fast days, combined with vinegar, or mashed and mixed with almond milk, or as a topping on dough preparations. As it swam in clean, rocky waters, it was highly esteemed by medieval physicians. Pike. The pike was one of the most favored fish of the nobility and upper classes. Frequently stuffed, encased in dough or aspic, or mashed and put in a blanc manger, or prepared as a subtlety at festive banquets. Medieval physicians considered pike one of the healthiest of all fish as far as fish go. Salmon was so common in medieval Europe that artisan apprentices objected to having to eat it more than three times a week. Salmon caught in the Rhine and other major rivers that were not sold fresh were usually dried, salted, or smoked, then shipped via Hamburg, Lübeck, Bremen, and other Hanseatic towns to all parts of Germany and beyond. Dockfish was cod dried in the sun as hard as a board. And here you see in this picture, cod drying in the sun. Anyway, it really winds up as hard as a board if you are hit by it when it is still dried out, but getting hit by a two by four. Stockfish had to first be beaten for hours with a mallet and then soaked in water for days before cooking it in sauce, baking it, or turning it into paste. But the benefit is drying allowed it to be stored for up to a year. Durgeon. Durgeon was caught in the Danube and other major rivers including the great sturgeon that yields beluga caviar and was eaten across medieval Europe. Trout. Trout was not just caught in the wild, but also reared in medieval Europe in fish ponds. It was sometimes eaten as an alternative to other fish, such as salmon. Medieval physicians said it was best when boiled in wine until all the liquid had evaporated, or when baked in a pastry shell. Tuna. Tuna was widely available in medieval Europe, being abundant in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean. It was a popular food which could be eaten either cooked or raw. Let me know what you liked about this video and what other historical topics or subjects you'd like to see in future videos in the comment section below. Be sure to click like, share, and especially subscribe as it will help me bring you more great videos and make sure to click on that little bell thingy so you'll know when the next History Waits for No One video is posted. If you wanna know more, there are recommended studies on this topic in the description below, along with other ways to connect with me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the past.